Hi everyone. Cast iron skillets do not like being dropped on the ground. As you can see here, we have a skillet with a broken handle. Um, yeah, it got dropped on the floor and now I have to fix it. Step one on something like this is to uh, prep the joint here where I'm going to uh, reattach it. So all this has to be cleaned up and beveled. So we'll get our equipment and get started. So I've clamped the handle between two blocks of wood. Now I'm going to bevel it. Then I'll move on to the skillet. It's taken me about an hour to get all set up here between collecting my equipment and interruptions. In order to do cast iron, you have to preheat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up right in here and probably back into the, into the pan itself because you can't have any stress and welding creates a tremendous amount of stress on the on the casting. So by preheating, it helps, I guess you could say soften the metal or normalize the metal. It just it helps reduce the stress. And then after I'm done welding, then I'm gonna stick the pan in this uh, pile of sawdust. I didn't have any sand, so the sawdust should be okay. The goal there is to cool the joint very slowly. So I've got my nickel welding rod. I've got everything clamped down tight. I had to grind a spot on the back of the pan here so that the, the ground clamp would make a good ground. I've got my torch. And I think I'm ready to go. So for me, cast iron is one of those pain in the butt things to weld. And I really don't like doing it. I haven't had a lot of success doing it, to be honest. I think for something like this, it's worth it. This is a, one of my nice Griswold skillets. And it's a chef skillet. And it's one I use all the time. So I want to I want to try to fix it. It's already broken, so I really can't make it any worse. I'm going to go get a temple stick so I can tell about what temperature I'm at here. Because you want to preheat to about between 500 and 1000 degrees. Uh, you don't want to go over 1400 because then that would make it uh, non-magnetic or the critical state. Alright, so what I've got here is a uh, 900 degree temple stick. And what this does, it melts at a specific temperature. Now these are these are a little old, so I'm just gonna have to do without the cover there. Let's get back to it. So this one is 900 degrees. 
So that's its melting point. I'm nowhere near that. So if I get it up to 900 degrees, that'll give me enough time to then put my gloves on and get ready to do the weld because this is relatively thin so it's gonna cool down kind of quickly yeah it's definitely hot enough here I want to heat it up more over here because this is the this spot here where it joins the pan that's what I'm worried about wood blocks on fire, which is not surprising. Yeah, I think we're... We're probably good. Get the gloves on. See, we can make this stick together. I'm only welding this at 80 amps or 85 amps. All right, now I'm going to get my clamps out of the way so that I can turn this over. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the sand for a minute. Or the, not the sand, but the wood chips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna preheat again and then see how the weld looks and then we'll maybe put some more weld on there. Bare spot preheat. Okay, I think I want to call that good and uh, we'll stick this in the sawdust and let that cool off.
So, pan of sawdust. And we'll just let it sit there and cool off slow. While I'm waiting for the frying pan to cool off, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put any of my equipment away. I'm going to shut the gas off to the torch, but that's it, and shut the welding machine off. Because if I clean all this up, that's the kiss of death. As soon as I do that, when I wire wheel the weld, I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say, ah, that could have been a lot better, and then I'm going to want to do more. <laughs> that's what usually happens to me. So I'm just going to leave this right here. We're going to shut the shut the gas off we're going to shut off the welding machine and now we're just going to wait here's my frying pan repair it is uh anything but perfect but it's better than it was and it's no longer broken this isn't so hot back here but it's okay. Nobody looks at that anyway. Cast iron Griswold chef skillet has been repaired. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm shooting for 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So maybe you can help me out with that. So that's it. Have a great day.